In life, we go through challenges that can bring out the best in us. I am petrified. If I could wear any colour pants right now, they would be yellow. Today, Duncan is going to overcome his nerves and give blood for the first time. But before he can do that, there's paperwork to fill out and hydrating to do. Is there anything else I need to do, like star jumps to get the blood pumping? Is that... No? OK. After his preparation interview, Duncan was feeling good. I've actually already given some blood. I don't want to brag, but uh, you see that? They took about like a quarter of a milliliter. Why is it so important to get a milkshake and a cookie? I mean, give blood. <laughs> it's very important actually to give blood, uh, particularly because one in three people uh, in, will need blood in their lifetime, um, yet only one in 30 of us actually donate blood. Uh, so we're trying to encourage more people to help roll up their sleeves. Uh, and because it is in such high demand, uh, we're always calling on new donors to come on board. So thank you very much for rolling up your sleeves and making your first donation today. Now, obviously for me, because I'm a big, burly, strong guy, no nerves at all, really excited about going in and doing this. But if there was a person who was here today and was feeling a little bit nervous, what would you say to them? Uh, you know, the pinch of the needle could last three seconds, but it could mean a lifetime to someone else. Then the time came to roll up his sleeves and sit back on the comfy recliners. Can we put vibrate function, function on? Just on the feet. Just on the feet? On the feet. That's good. As the needle prick got closer, Duncan looked a little less confident. It was a bit of a sting, like a bee sting probably, I would say. Like, I mean, you know when they say it doesn't hurt at all, it does hurt a little bit. Just a little bit though. Probably not going to look at this arm anymore. As far as I'm concerned, I'm really just one armed person right now. Um, pain's all gone right now. I can't, it feels good. What will happen at the end is they'll top up what they've taken out with um, milkshake. After seven minutes, it was all done. Okay, so the bandage is going on. It's got to stay on for two to three hours. No heavy lifting, <laughs> as if that's going to happen. <laughs> We could go two to three years with this bandage on, I reckon. This is 10% of my blood volume in a bag right now that is gonna go off, hopefully, and save someone's life, which is pretty exciting. Ooh, three lives. Well done, Duncan. We're proud of you, buddy. And thank you to everyone who also gives blood. Yay!